about the Halel. Okay. So now we're starting Perek Kuf Yud Chet. Perek Kuf Yud Chet is the last Perek of the Halel, okay, which in the Sidurim is broken down into uh, three different portions. Hodu Lashem Kitov, Mina Metzar, and then the last Pesukim of the Perek, which is the Pesukim we, we, uh, we repeat. Ana Hashem Oshiana twice, Baruch Haba twice, El Hashem Vayayer Lanu twice, Eliata Veodeka twice, Hodu Lashem Kitov, Kiva, okay. So now we're going to start the, 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 the first portion of the Hallel, which is the first Pesukim of Perek Kuf Yudchet. So the Pasuk says, Odul Hashem Kitov ki le'olam chazdo. Praise HaKadosh Baruch Hu for him being good because his mercy, his kindness, the, his kindness is infinite. Yomar na Yisrael. Am Yisrael will say, ki le'olam chazdo. Will praise Hashem because his mercy, his kindness is infinite. Yom Hunabet Aharon, right? The house of Aharon should praise HaKadosh Baruch Hu for his kindness. Yom Hunayire Hashem ki le'olam chazdo. And the, the people that fear him should also praise him for his kindness is forever, is limitless and infinite. So the, the Maharal introduces two concepts. Concept number one, the definition and the place of Hoda'a. Recognizing the greatness, the kindness that HaKadosh Baruch Hu does or that the person does and being respectful and, um, and, and uh, being respectful and the right word is uh, conscious. Conscious, conscious of the importance, Chazak, of the importance to uh, to show you Akaratatov and say thank you. Okay. Now that's what one one thing that we need to understand. And okay, so we're gonna start with that. We're gonna start with that. Okay. So the Midrash says, he brings the Midrash, and Laem Le Israel, Sheyeshalemu, Ela Hodaa, Al Kol Tova, Shehose Lahem. There is nothing you can pay back to Hashem. You cannot give anything to Hashem but the Hodaa, but the thank you, the, the, the recognition that He's doing good to you. We saw, if you remember in the past, in the, of, of the, we said that, that what is the definition of Chaim is the, David Amelech has the, is the definition of Chaim going to David Amelech is the opportunity to say thank you to Hashem, right? Remember that, yes? Okay. So says the, the says the midrash says the midrash. The only thing you can give Hashem is a thank you. And he brings the Pesukim. I will recognize the good that you do to me and say thank you, for you listen to me and you saved me. Eliata, you are my guardian, you are my God. And therefore I say thank you. So what does it mean to say thank you, says the Maharal? Saying thank you is to unite yourself with the person and become one with them, with the giver, with the one that did good to you. That's one dimension. Another dimension of the Hoda'a, of saying thank you, is also to acknowledge that without the help of the person, you wouldn't be able to be where you are today. So you show that you're dependent from, to, the, to the, the, whatever that person did to you, or with another layer. So it's Hakarat Atov. It starts, but die. 
Yeah. Like, להכיר טובה is to recognize that the person did good to you. That's הכרת הטוב. להכיר טובה. Right? להכיר טובה. How do you express your הכרת הטוב? In many ways. The most basic and the the, the hiyuv starts with what? With the hoda'a. I say thank you. Because when you say thank you, right, you become one with that person. And on a deeper level, you how do you become one by, with that person? By recognizing that it, it, if it wasn't for the help of that person, you wouldn't be where you are. So if you are where you are, it's because of the person. So you're dependent on him on, for that thing. By recognizing that, you become one on that benefit that you got with that person. Very deep. You have to, you have to understand what that means. By recognizing somebody does something good to you, yeah? You need help for some, something. Whatever that is, whatever it is, you need help. That person comes and helps you. Okay? So, by saying thank you, by recognizing the fact that he helped you, and showing, like you say, and being modelo, says the Maharal, you are becoming one with that person on that progress that you made through the, his help. So now that progress that you've achieved is a progress that came from the unity of you and the helper as one. You understand? Again, because if you don't understand that, we're never going to get the sword of, uh, of a karatatu. Okay, let me give an example. Let me give an example. You do, you need, you need help to, to, uh, to, uh, to secure a deal. You need help to secure a deal. You need an influence for somebody. You need somebody to make a phone call for you, whatever it is. That person makes the call. That person helps. By recognizing the good and by that the person did to you by helping you. By saying th thank you, the success or the benefits that you get from the actual help, whether it's just motivation, whether it's progress in completing the deal or the completion of the deal, right? That effort, that progress by saying thank you reveals that you and that person became one on that progress, on that effort. You understand? That's the unity you create when you say thank you to a person and you recognize the good the person did. Now, the, the greatness comes, why is it so, so important and so great to say thank you? Because the greatness of saying thank you comes from a place of vulnerability. It's a recognition and acknowledgement that without that person, you wouldn't be able to, wear, to, to be where you are right now. So essentially, you are dependent on that person. And that's how your mashlim, that's the tashlumi that's how you complete the tova from HaKadosh Baruch Hu says the Maharal. HaKadosh Baruch Hu does only good to us. It's good and good and good and good. Now, by 
saying thank you and recognizing that you're dependent on HaKadosh Baruch Hu, HaKadosh Baruch Hu now becomes one with you on that on that specific chesed or kindness that you recognize. So if you recognize that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is with you all the time, and HaKadosh Baruch Hu's good is with you all the time, and you say thank you and you recognize that you're dependent on HaKadosh Baruch Hu's chesed and kindness. So what you have done at, is that for every step of the way in your life, you print, you crystallize, you concrete a union with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. That union, that harmony, that osmosis that is created from the Hakarat Tov and from the Hoda'a, from saying thank you to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, turns that moment that is binded by time and limited by time and turn it into infinite and turn it into olama emet, into hakarat atov nitzhit, into a beracha that's infinite in Shamayim. And this is why David Amir says, Hodu Hashem kitov ki leolam hazor. David Amelech wanted all Am Israel to say thank you, all the world, not all, all Am Israel, all the creation to say thank you, Hashem recognize the, the kindness of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, so that everyone, the entire humanity can crystallize in, in, on an individual level and on a general level, the presence of HaKadosh Baruch Hu in their life, which essentially would, would turn the entire creation and behavioral of humanity into a unity of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And that would be the the biggest revelation of the Geulat Hashem, the Geulat Hashechina, and the, the, the Biat Goel Tzedek. That's the Goel Tzedek. And that's what David Amelak was trying to accomplish. You can't. So that's, that's Hodu Hashem Kitov. You understand the Ma'ala? Zedavar Nifla. Read, understand what the, the Ma'ala is saying, because if we understand that, we are turning limited time and defined opportunities into infinite benefits and pleasure in Olam Abba. Is the concept clear? Very important to understand this concept. Very, very important. Because Akadosh Baruch is all Hasadim. So Hodu Lashem Kitov, says the Maharal, is the opportunity, is David Amir is screaming. Take the opportunity to turn your limited experiences into infinite pleasures in Olam Abba. That's the definition of Hodu Lashem Kitov. Because everything that HaKadosh Baruch Hu does, everything comes from the chesed of Hashem. So don't limit yourselves to only the pleasures that you get here or what you think is good, but everything is chesed. So if everything is chesed, say thank you to HaKadosh Baruch Hu for everything, no matter how difficult it is no matter how challenging it is, no matter how much I don't understand it, and turn that experience that might even sound or look or feel difficult into an infinite pleasure in Olam Abba by saying Hoda'a, by saying Hoda'a. Incredible Yesod. And that's the message to humanity. That's David Amele screaming Let's bring Mashiach, let's bring the world to a completion. Which line do we derive that from? That, that ha everything Hashem does is a kindness? Which, which pasuk? Ki le olam hazdo. Ki le olam hazdo. Ki le olam 
has no because his 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 mercy his mercifulness right his chesed is infinite so there's only chesed what the maral wants to tell us is that if you try to see the chesed in Hashem everywhere no matter how challenging and how difficult it is you're able to say thank you. You're able to say toda. You understand? So it goes both ways. David Amelech tells us, you should know that everything is chasadim from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Ki le'olam chasadim. And therefore, hodulo. Right? Hodul Hashem Kitov. Say thank you to HaKadosh Baruch Hu for everything. Why? Because everything is chesed. Everything comes from chesed. So says the, says the Maharal. Says the Maharal. And once you understand that everything is chesed, then for sure you can say a better toda. And this is David saying this in the depth of his despair, right? Correct. Correct. That's when he recognizes that's it when that's it. Yeah, we're gonna see it, right? So right after that, it, what does it start? Pasuke after that, Mina Metzar Karati Yahana Yamar Havia. Mina Metzar, right from the Metzarim, from the darkest time, from the most challenging experience. Karatika, Ananiba Merhavia. So after David Amela screamed to humanity, a calling out to humanity. So Odula Sem Kitov Kile Olam Hazo essentially. Based on what we're learning and all of, of, of the Mefarshim say, it's really a slogan that the entire humanity should be saying because it's, it's not targeted for anyone specifically. It's for the entire humanity. Everybody should be walking on the street and screaming, It doesn't matter what nation, what faith. Then David Amelach dives in. That's for you, man. You marna Israel. You marna Israel. Kile olam hasbro. You marna Israel. The Amira. You marna. Am Israel has to say, will say, kile, will say thank you. You marna Israel, right? Then Israel will be more, have to be more day. Kile olam hasbro. Comes David Amelach and says, when you have a more focused attention, on someone, then by that you have, you have more reasons to say thank you. That's Am Israel. And if you dive in, there's more focus to Beta Aaron, to the Bnei Aaron, the Quranim, right? Elu, and we know we, we've, we, we, we've, we, we've addressed it uh, in, the, in the Parakim before that Bet Aaron is who? Ahabat Hashem, people that serve Akadosh Baruch Hu out of love. So they have a deeper focus, right? Akadosh Baruch looks after them even more. Kile olam hasdo. Yom evunai re'e Hashem. The people that fear Akadosh Baruch Hu also have to say, Hodul Hashem kito. Says the Maharal. The Hesed Akadosh Baruch Hu, there, there is something amazing. Akadosh Baruch Hu does Hesed to everyone. And on top of that, he adds Hesed to Am Israel. Why? Because he shows a Banai Atem, right? With the, with, with, uh, the Torah says that we are the son of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the kids of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So there is more chesed, right? There's an added layer of chesed. And then the Bet Aaron, the Ohave Hashem, there's another layer of chesed. And then Yireh Hashem, another layer of, 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 of chesed. So when a person recognizes the chesed HaKadosh Baruch Hu to the, does to the world, he has to say, Wow. Wow. I'm Israel. We're, we're, we're the Banim of Kadosh Baruch Hu. There's more reason to say Odul Hashem Kitov. 
עד ירת שמיים, ירא השם, מור, אהבת השם, even more, right? says the Maharal, you get to an overwhelming place of, of recognition and acknowledgement of all the chesed HaKadosh Baruch Hu does to you. That you have to scream, you have to scream it, you have to feel it. You have to feel it. He says, why did David Amelech, why did David Amelech bring those three layers, three levels, Israel, Bet Aaron, and Yireh Hashem, those three levels? He says, because based on how, how we explain the definition, the definition of Hoda'a, right, which is becoming one with HaKadosh Baruch Hu and crystallizing a, 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 a moment in time and turning it into an infinite pleasure with HaKadosh Baruch Hu in Olam Abba. He says there are three ways, three ways of serving HaKadosh Baruch Hu. One way is just to know that you have Yerat Shamayim, you have Yerat Shamayim. You have Yad Shamayim. I fear Hakadosh Baruch Hu. I fear Hakadosh Baruch Hu. I fear him. So it's recognizing and thanking Hakadosh Baruch Hu out of fear. That's the last one. Yom Runa Yirei Hashem. And we need to crystallize a dimension of Olam Abba through Yirat Shamayim, through fearing Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Then says the Maharal, there's another dimension in Olam Abba that's called Ahavat Hashem. And if, uh, in order to enrich our Olam Abba in the dimension of Ahavat Hashem, of love for Hashem, we need to crystallize also the Ahdud, the unity, the osmosis with HaKadosh Baruch to love. To finally get to a place where we crystallize the love of HaKadosh Baruch Hu and the unity with HaKadosh Baruch Hu by the recognition that we are there, we're his son. We are his children. So what the Maharal tells us is that you deepen and infuse a more concentrated version of Ahavat Hashem depending on how you say thank you. Do you say thank you out of fear? Do you say thank you out of love? Or do you say thank you out of recognition that you, that you are his child? And that will determine, that will determine the, 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 the experience, the, 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 the magnitude of Olam Abba, you're crystallizing at the moment you're saying Hodu Lashem Kitov. Good. And says the Maharal, when you live like this, he says, this is the definition of Zekut Bashem. Rodov Kabo. There's a mitzvah in the Torah that you have to be glued to Hashem. How are you glued to Hashem? How do you live the definition of Shiviti Hashem and Egitami? Hashem is with me all the time. How do you live this experience through that says the Mara? This is Dvekut Bashem. You want to, you know, Kabbo. You need to be glued with Akadosh Baruch Hu. How do you, are you glued? Are you connected to Hashem? By emulating his behavior. If he's Rahman, you have to be Rahman. So, Says the Maharal, you want to apply his midot, you want to apply his midot in your life, and you want to emulate his behavior in your life. It's through the Hoda'a. Through a clear understanding of what saying thank you really means. People think that saying thank you is just a respectful thing, not to sound I. Not to sound uh, uh, arrogant or disrespectful. To say thank you. No, no, no. By saying thank you, 
you're bonding to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And by bonding to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, now you can emulate his behavior. That's how deep it goes. He says now it makes sense why David Amelech would address the Hoda'a to the entire world. Because it is a responsibility for each and every individual to recognize and find HaKadosh Baruch Hu in their life, right? So how can you emulate Hashem's behavior in your life? By saying thank you. And there's Zayn Mizot Ben Noach. We all have to, to find HaKadosh Baruch Hu one way or another. Doesn't matter what the nation is. So says David HaMelech, this is the universal effort for recognition of Hashem and Dvekud Hashem to each their own level by saying Udul Hashem Kitov and understanding it properly. Then the Maharal, the Maharal then brings, he brings the Midrash. He says something beautiful. The Midrash says, Yomarna Yisrael ki leolam hazdo. Yomarna Yisrael means, Israel has to say, thank you to HaKadosh Baruch Hu because his, his kindness is infinite. He says, who is Israel? The Pshat Pashut is, who is Israel? I'm Israel. He says, no, Israel is Saba. He says, you have to go to Israel Saba. You have to go back to Yaakov Avinu. And what led him to get to the dimension, to the, to the, to be Zoche, to the title of Israel. He says, the de- what's the difference between Yaakov and Israel? Israel is the dimension of, of Yaakov that includes the entire nation, all Klal Israel. Yaakov is an individual, is the son of Yitzhak and the father of the Shvatim. When we talk about Israel, says the Maharal, you're referring to the one, the, the father of, of the nation, the one that basically links each and every one of us throughout history in every generation. So says the, Mid- says the Midrash, according to Maharal, Yomar na Yisrael, you know when you can be modeh l'Akadosh Baruch Hu. You know when you are one with Akadosh Baruch Hu through the Hoda'a. You know when you're davuk when Akadosh, with Akadosh Baruch Hu, really. When you are the Dvukim one to another. The power of Hoda'a, the power of saying thank you when there is Yehud, when there is Achdut, when there's unity, when there's love amongst some Israel, is the, is the real way to serve Akadosh Baruch Hu as a son, as a child. Says the Maharal. Yaakov Avinu, Yaakov Avinu, a little introduction. Yaakov Avinu, in last week's parasha, in parashat Vayehi, he got scared, right? He wanted to reveal the Geula to, Amisra, to the, the Shvatim. He did, he didn't, that's a machloket. He, he, he then, Akadosh Baruch Hu, uh, Shat, refrained himself, okay, from revealing to Yaakov what he could reveal to his kids. So he got scared, right? He said, maybe my kids are not uh, so united. They're not so perfect. I thought they were, but it seems that they're not because HaKadosh Baruch doesn't want me to reveal to them the Geula. So what did they say? Shema Yisrael, Hashem Elokeinu Hashem Echad. That's what the Shvatim told Yaakov Avinu. Shema Yisrael, Yisrael, our father listened. Hashem Elokeinu, Hashem Echad. 
the Hashem that's your Eloki is Elokeinu, and Hashem is Ehad. We're one with Him. Nach nafshe. Yaakov Avinu was a comer. He got appeased, and he said, Baruch Shem Kevod Malchuto Le'olam Ba'ed. He said, Baruch Shem Kevod Malchuto Le'olam Ba'ed. So what is the definition of Israel? Is the ahdut, the unity. This is the banim. You want to be a ben. You want to serve a kadosh baruch as a son. Ahavat Israel. Isn't that one of the explanations of, of what brings Mashiach is ahdut? But I, for sure, for sure. Right, that 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 was the revelation. N not the geula. But what will bring the Geula? Yes. 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 Absolutely. 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 The Hashem Israel, Hashem Elokeinu, Hashem Echad, is we know and we're there. We're there, and this is what this is who we are. So says the Maharal, the Lord Niflam, you know. Says Yomar na Israel. When we say Yomar na Israel, that's why we don't say Yomeru na Israel. Look. The, we have Yomar na Israel, Kil Olam Hazbet, right? Lashon Yahid, singular, Yomar na. After that, Yomeru na Betaharon, plural, Yomeru. Yomeru na Yireh Hashem, plural. Why didn't, says Mara, why didn't we say Yomeru na Bet Israel? Tashomea. Why don't we say Yomeru na Bet Israel? In plural. Why do we say Yomar na Israel in singular? Because if you want to be serving a Kadosh Baruch Hu and be being one with a Kadosh Baruch Hu as a son, there's only one. You need to look at everybody as one entity. That's the sword of Israel. That's the sword of Israel. I mean, just practically speaking, I mean, you look at the world today and how, you know, how many different offshoots of, of Israel there is. It almost seems like it's impossible to have Achdu today. You're right. You're right. It sounds, uh, it, it's, it, it seems. We're so, frag we're so fragmented today. You're right, you're right. And this is why, this is why, this is why it's, it's our responsibility to at least reveal Mashiach in our own ecosystem, in our own life. Reveal the, 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 the Geula in our own... In our own uh, so have, have unity in your home, have unity with your family, have unity in your community. That doesn't mean you have to be submissive. That doesn't mean you have to be, agree to everything. But there has to be Ahdut. We have to be one. And how, what would you say is the key to uh, creating Achdut? Like what, 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 what do you need to have mentally in order to Very good, very good. Number one, number one. Like the Umar says, but Hillel Masaket To always understand the other. Be objective. To always hear the other one's opinion. Number one. And for that, you need to be humble and you need to be open. Okay. Because it starts with humility. It starts with Vadai, for sure. It starts with humility. It starts with the recognition that without each other, we are not Am Israel, but we're just individuals. Okay. Number two, listen to what the person has to say. And in an object, in the most objective possible way. If you disagree, okay, convey in the language the person really understands in front of you your opinion. Don't convey it in your language. Convey it in the language that the person in front of you can understand with one goal, which is an ultimate decision that will be made for the benefit of the greater good. 
Yeah, you have to decide before you have the conversation that the goal is to end up better together, not you being right. Correct. Correct. As in Neymar, don't be right, be smart. Don't be right, be smart. So now, says the Maharal, it says, that's, now we understand the, the secret of Yomarna Yisrael ki leolam chasot. And he says, that's the highest level of Dzekut Bashem. The highest and most intense way of saying, thank you, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, is in the gather in the definition of Yomarna Yisrael. Because now you are one, not only with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, but with the community, with the people. And being, again, being one with the people doesn't mean you, you agree with them. It means that you are one with them to carry on together the responsibility to all become better, to all serve HaKadosh Baruch Hu better. That's being one, what being one means. And if not that, now, you have a lot of people that serve HaKadosh Baruch Hu out of love. What traits? Everybody has a different level of love. Yom Eruna, plural. And if not that, Yom Eruna, Yireh Hashem. The Yirat Shamaim also, the fear of HaKadosh Baruch Hu fluctuates, different levels of fear. All this, in order to what? To become one with HaKadosh Baruch Hu in order to infuse in your limited time and experiences that you have in this world, the Ruach Hashem, the spirit of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and turn that moment into something infinite. This is the sword of these Pesukim. And all this, all this, we grow in it more and more by recognizing this is why says the Maharal David Amelech repeats it again and again. It's about the hizuk, the akara, the clarity. that everything HaKadosh Baruch Hu does is Hasadim. That's how we get to the proper definition of, or, 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 or meaning when we say Hashem Kito. So the, with this, yeah, we, we conclude the first four Pesukim. And now, in the next few, we will start Minam Metzah Karatiyah. I hear it's Thank incredible, Minami Saad. I'm very excited. Bezrat Hashem. Bezrat Hashem. Tov. Shailanu Shabbat Shalom. Amen. Shabbat Shalom. 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 Shalom.